your stock pick? <laughs> so um, I've gone with uh, TSMC, which is the Taiwan Semiconductor. Uh, it is the, the preeminent semiconductor manufacturer. And I guess there's two drivers here. One is just on the general semiconductor level, there's, uh, the inventory cycle is turning. We're at inventory lows uh, and normalized levels across the supply chain. Uh, and we see that um, cycle having bottomed and improving. And then if you add to that, they have got the, they are at the cutting edge and the bleeding edge of, of semiconductors. So for example, NVIDIA has tied up all of their production at that top end for the next two years because um, they are the only ones who can really operate at that level at this point in time. So I think you've got that, you, you're tapping into some of that sort of uh, AI uh, rollout that's taking place, that infrastructure rollout. Uh, and then at the same time, the fundamentals of the broader industry and the business are also improving and turning from here. So I think there's, um, you know, 18 to 24 months of improving earnings on the table for this one. Yeah, all right. That's, that's my pick. All right. Uh, Mark, on your side, where are you seeing an edge? Yes, so <clears throat> I'm picking Process tonight, principally for its um, exposure to its Tencent, which is its biggest asset. Tencent is about 90% of the net asset value of Process. And uh, we like the, the, the prospects. Tencent's earnings, recent earnings announcement was very positive. Um, operating profits up 26% year on year. We think that they can continue to grow earnings um, above 20%. Um, I also think that, you know, the, the U.S. tech stocks have kind of been the only game in town for the last 10 years. Um, and I think that if they, we see kind of earnings starting to slow a little bit in the U.S., people are going to look to reallocate some of their uh, portfolio. And maybe you want to own a cheaper uh, tech stock and Tencent is, uh, you know, stands out. It's derated um, and it's not they're trading at quite a wide um, valuation gap to the U.S. Uh, tech stock. So I think they're at the bottom. And uh, I think that uh, uh, shareholding in, in process will, will do well from, this, from these levels. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time and for your analysis today, gents. Much, much appreciated. Uh, that is all for tonight's Stock Watch. Thanks to our guests, Mark Dutoy from Oyster Catcher Investments and Grant Nader from Benguela Global Fund Managers. Up next, the close. Stay with us. <laughs>